Hi everyone, welcome to this video about 13 most famous Marian apparitions. Marian apparitions refer to reports of supernatural sightings of the Virgin Mary, Mother of Jesus Christ, in various parts of the world. These apparitions are considered significant by many Catholics and have drawn millions of pilgrims to the locations where they occurred. The appearances of Mary have often been accompanied by messages of hope, peace, and encouragement, as well as warnings of impending judgment or calls for repentance. The validity of these apparitions is evaluated by the Catholic Church, which assesses the authenticity of the reported events and the fruits they have produced in the lives of those who have experienced them. First most famous Marian apparition is Our Lady of Guadalupe. Our Lady of Guadalupe first introduced herself as the Mother of God and the Mother of all humanity when she appeared on the hill of Tepeyac in Mexico in 1531. An indigenous peasant, Havan Diego, saw a glowing figure on the hill. After she had identified herself to him, Our Lady asked that Havan build her a shrine in that same spot, in order for her to show and share her love and compassion with all those who believe. Afterwards, Havan Diego visited Havan de Zumariga, who was Archbishop of what is now Mexico City. Zumariga dismissed him in disbelief and asked that the future saint provide proof of his story and proof of the lady's identity. Havan Diego returned to the hill and encountered Our Lady again. The Virgin told him to climb to the top of the hill and pick some flowers to present to the Archbishop. Although it was winter and nothing should have been in bloom, Havan Diego found an abundance of flowers of a type he had never seen before. The Virgin bundled the flowers into Juan's cloak, known as a tilma. When Havan Diego presented the tilma of exotic flowers to Zumariga, the flowers fell out and he recognized them as Castilian roses, which are not found in Mexico. What was even more significant, however, was that the tilma had been miraculously imprinted with a colorful image of the Virgin herself. This actual tilma, preserved since that date and showing the familiar image of the Virgin Mary with her head bowed and hands together in prayer, represents the Virgin of Guadalupe. It remains perhaps the most sacred object in all of Mexico. The apparition is remembered for Mary's emphasis on the importance of compassion, love, and respect for all people, regardless of race, ethnicity, or social status. The image of Our Lady of Guadalupe that appeared on Havan Diego's tilma is widely considered to be a miraculous image, and has been revered by millions of people for centuries. The shrine at Mexico City, which contains the tilma, has become one of the most important pilgrimage sites in the Catholic Church, attracting millions of visitors each year. The apparition of Our Lady of Guadalupe is seen as a powerful symbol of the Church's mission to bring the Gospel to the indigenous peoples of the Americas, and as a reminder of Mary's love for all people. The image of Our Lady of Guadalupe has also become a powerful symbol of Mexican identity and culture, and continues to inspire people of all ages and backgrounds. Next, we have Our Lady of La Salette. Our Lady of La Salette is a Marian apparition that took place in La Salette, France, in 1846. During this time, the Virgin Mary is said to have appeared to two young shepherd children, and conveyed messages of hope, repentance, and renewal. The apparition is remembered for Mary's emphasis on the importance of turning away from sin and towards God, and for her request that people pray for the conversion of sinners. Our Lady of La Salette is also remembered for her messages of hope and comfort, reminding people of Mary's love and support, especially in times of difficulty and trial. The shrine at La Salette remains a popular place of pilgrimage, attracting thousands of visitors each year, and continues to inspire people of all ages and backgrounds. The apparition is seen as a powerful reminder of Mary's ongoing presence in the world, and her role as a source of spiritual strength and guidance for all who seek her. Third is Our Lady of Lourdes. Our Lady of Lourdes is a Marian apparition that took place in Lourdes, France, in 1858. During this time, the Virgin Mary is said to have appeared to a young girl named Bernadette Soubirous, and conveyed messages of hope, repentance, and renewal. The apparition is remembered for Mary's emphasis on the importance of turning away from sin and towards God, and for her request that people pray for the conversion of sinners. Our Lady of Lords is also remembered for her messages of hope and comfort, reminding people of Mary's love and support, especially in times of difficulty and trial. The shrine at Lords has become one of the most important pilgrimage sites in the Catholic Church, attracting millions of visitors each year, and continues to inspire people of all ages and backgrounds. The apparition of Our Lady of Lords is seen as a powerful reminder of Mary's ongoing presence in the world, and her role as a source of spiritual strength and guidance for all who seek her. Another significant Marian apparition is Our Lady of Fatima. Our Lady of Fatima is a Marian apparition that took place in Fatima, Portugal, in 1917. 
During this time, the Virgin Mary is said to have appeared to three young shepherd children and conveyed messages of hope, repentance, and renewal. The apparition is remembered for Mary's emphasis on the importance of turning away from sin and towards God, and for her request that people pray for the conversion of sinners. During the apparitions at Fatima, Mary is said to have revealed three secrets, including a vision of hell, a prophecy of the end of World War I, and a request for the consecration of Russia to her Immaculate Heart. The events at Fatima have been the subject of much investigation and analysis, with many people considering the apparitions to be a powerful message from heaven to humanity. The miracle of the sun, which took place during the final apparition at Fatima, is considered by many to be one of the greatest miracles of the 20th century. In response to Mary's request, Pope John Paul II consecrated the world to the Immaculate Heart of Mary in 1984, a move that many see as instrumental in helping to bring about the fall of communism in Europe. Today, the shrine at Fatima remains one of the most popular pilgrimage sites in the world, attracting people from all over the world who come to seek Mary's intercession and to pray for peace and healing in their lives. Fifth important apparition is Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. The Miraculous Medal, the Medal of the Immaculate Conception, popularly known as the Miraculous Medal, is unique among all medals. The Blessed Virgin gave it to Catherine Leboer on November 27, 1830. The apparition appeared in the Mother House of the Daughters of Charity of St. Vincent de Paul and St. Louise de Marillac, in Paris, France. Catherine saw a lady standing on a globe with dazzling rays of light streaming from her outstretched hands. Framing the figure was the inscription, O Mary conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Mary then spoke to Catherine, have a medal struck upon this model. Those who wear it will receive great graces, especially if they wear it around their neck. The vision then rotated showing the reverse side of the medal, the letter M surmounted by a cross with a bar at its base. Below, this monogram, the sacred heart of Jesus crowned with thorns, and the immaculate heart of Mary pierced with a sword. Today, millions of Catholics show their love of Christ by honoring His Mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, by wearing this medal. The miraculous medal is often associated with several miracles and healings, including the healing of a nun from a debilitating illness and the rescue of a French ship from a deadly storm. Today, Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal is honored and celebrated by Catholics around the world, who wear the medal and pray for Mary's intercession and protection, especially in times of need and difficulty. The apparition of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal is considered to be a message of hope, encouragement, and protection for all who wear the medal and pray for Mary's intercession. Next important Marian apparition is Our Lady of Nock. Our Lady of Nock is a Marian apparition that took place in the village of Nock, Ireland, in 1879. On the evening of Thursday, the 21st of August, 1879, two women from the small village of Nock, Mary McLaughlin and Mary Bairn, were walking back to their home in the rain when they passed by the back of the village church. It was then that they saw the apparition. Our Lady, Saint Joseph and Saint John the Evangelist appeared at the south gable of the church. Mary wore a large white cloak, fastened at the neck. Her hands and eyes were raised towards heaven, in a posture of prayer. On her head was a brilliant crown and where the crown fitted the brow, was a gold rose. On her right was Saint Joseph, head bowed and turned slightly towards her as if paying her his respects. He wore white robes. On Mary's left was Saint John the Evangelist, dressed as a bishop, with a book in his left hand and right hand, raised as if preaching. His robes were also white. Beside the figures and a little to the right in the center of the gable was a large plain altar. On the altar stood a lamb, facing the west and behind the lamb a large cross stood upright. Angels hovered around the lamb for the duration of the apparition. The apparition of Our Lady of Nock is considered to be a message of hope, comfort, and reassurance for the people of Ireland, who were facing difficult times, including poverty, famine, and political unrest. The shrine at Nock has become one of the most important pilgrimage sites in Ireland, attracting hundreds of thousands of visitors each year who come to pray and seek Mary's intercession. Today, Our Lady of Nock is remembered as a symbol of Mary's love and care for her children, and as a reminder of the power of prayer and devotion to bring peace, comfort, and healing to those who seek it. Another very important Marian apparition is Our Lady of the Rosary of Pompeii. Our Lady of the Rosary of Pompeii is a Marian apparition that took place in Pompeii, Italy, in 1884. During this time, the Virgin Mary is said to have appeared to a young girl named Lucia and urged her to spread devotion to the Rosary. Mary reportedly promised that those who prayed the Rosary would be saved from war, famine, and pestilence, and that the Rosary would be a powerful tool in the conversion of sinners. 
The apparition is also remembered for Mary's request to have a church built in her honor in Pompeii, which was later completed and remains a popular site of pilgrimage. Today, the Rosary of Pompeii is considered one of the most powerful and effective forms of Marian devotion, with millions of people around the world continuing to pray it each day. The apparition is seen as a reminder of the power of prayer, faith, and devotion to Mary, and the role that she plays in the lives of believers. Our Lady of Zaitun, Egypt is one of the recent Marian apparition. Our Lady of Zaitun is a Marian apparition. That took place in Cairo, Egypt, between 1968 and 1971. During this time, the Virgin Mary is said to have appeared above St. Mark's Coptic Orthodox Cathedral, in the form of a luminous apparition. The apparition was seen by thousands of people, including both Christians and Muslims, and was widely reported in the media. Our Lady of Zaitun is remembered for her messages of peace, unity, and inter-religious understanding, encouraging all people to come together in love and respect for one another. The apparitions continue to inspire people of different religious backgrounds, and the site of the apparition remains a popular place of pilgrimage, attracting thousands of visitors each year. The apparition is seen as a powerful symbol of Mary's love and compassion for all people, and as a reminder of the importance of coming together as one human family, regardless of our differences. Our Lady of Pillar is considered to be the first apparition of Mother Mary. Our Lady of the Pillar is a Marian apparition that is said to have taken place in Tharagotha, Spain, in the year 40 AD. According to tradition, the Virgin Mary appeared to the Apostle James the Greater, who was preaching in Spain at the time, and gave him a wooden statue of herself, known as the Pillar of Tharagotha. Those who adhere to this belief consider this appearance to be the only recorded instance of Mary exhibiting the mystical phenomenon of bilication. Among Catholics, it is also considered the first Marian apparition, and unique because it happened while Mary was still living on earth. The apparition is remembered for its emphasis on Mary's role as the mother of Jesus, and the importance of her intercession in the lives of believers. The shrine at Tharagotha, which contains the wooden statue, has become one of the most important pilgrimage sites in the Catholic Church, attracting thousands of visitors each year. Our Lady of the Pillar is also remembered for her messages of hope, comfort, and encouragement, reminding people of Mary's unwavering love and support, especially in times of difficulty and trial. Next Marian apparition is Our Lady of Banu. Our Lady of Banu is a Marian apparition that took place in Banu, Belgium, in 1933. During this time, the Virgin Mary is said to have appeared to a young girl named Mariette Beko, and conveyed messages of hope, peace, and comfort. The apparition is remembered for Mary's emphasis on the importance of prayer, especially the rosary, and her encouragement of people to turn away from sin and towards God. Our Lady of Banu is also remembered for her messages of healing and hope, and many people have reported miraculous healings and conversions after visiting the site of the apparition. The shrine at Banu remains a popular place of pilgrimage, attracting thousands of visitors each year, and continues to inspire people of all ages and backgrounds. The apparition is seen as a powerful reminder of Mary's ongoing presence in the world, and her role as a source of spiritual strength and guidance for all who seek her. Next is very famous Our Lady of the Garabindal. The Garabindal apparitions are apparitions of Saint Michael the Archangel and the Blessed Virgin Mary that are claimed to have occurred from 1961 to 1965 to four young schoolgirls in the rural village of San Sebastian the Garabindal in northern Spain and conveyed messages of hope, conversion, and repentance. The apparition is remembered for its emphasis on the urgency of turning away from sin and towards God, and for Mary's request for the faithful to pray for the conversion of sinners. Our Lady of Garabindal is also remembered for its messages of hope and comfort, reminding people of Mary's love and support, especially in times of difficulty and trial. The site of Thay apparition remains a popular place of pilgrimage, attracting thousands of visitors each year, and continues to inspire people of all ages and backgrounds. The apparition is seen as a powerful reminder of Mary's ongoing presence in the world, and her role as a source of spiritual strength and guidance for all who seek her. Twelve Apparition is Our Lady of All Nations. Our Lady of All Nations is a Marian apparition that was reported to have taken place in Amsterdam, Netherlands, between 1945 and 1959. During this time, the Virgin Mary is said to have appeared to a Catholic mystic named Ida Piedemann and given her messages of peace and warning of the dangers of war. The apparition emphasizes Mary's role as the mother of all people in her desire for unity and peace among all nations. She also gave warnings about the dangers of war and the importance of prayer and conversion. The message of Our Lady of All Nations calls for people of all nations to come together as one human family, 
united in love and respect for one another, and to work towards peace and the betterment of all. The image of Our Lady of All Nations depicts Mary holding a globe in her hands and standing on a pillar of snakes, symbolizing her victory over evil. The apparition and its messages have been recognized by the Catholic Church and continue to inspire devotees around the world. Thirteenth Apparition is Our Lady of Buring Our Lady of Buring is a Marian apparition that took place in Buring, Belgium, in 1932-1933. During this time, the Virgin Mary is said to have appeared to five children, aged 9 to 15, a total of 33 times. In these apparitions, Mary is described as a young and beautiful woman, dressed in white and surrounded by a bright light. The main message that Mary conveyed in these apparitions was one of hope and comfort, encouraging the children and all those who saw her to pray and have faith in God. Our Lady of Buring is also remembered for her messages of peace and love, reminding people to be kind and loving to one another, especially in times of hardship and suffering. Today, the apparition continues to be remembered and celebrated, with many pilgrims visiting the site each year. Conclusion The significance and meaning of Marian apparitions are a matter of personal interpretation and faith. For many Catholics, these apparitions are seen as powerful signs of God's love and presence in the world, and offer comfort and guidance in troubled times. For others, the apparitions may be viewed as mere superstition or the product of human imagination. Regardless of one's belief, the enduring impact of these events on the lives of individuals and communities is a testament to the power of faith and devotion. Whether or not the apparitions are considered miraculous or divine, they have left a lasting impact on the religious landscape and serve as powerful reminders of the power of prayer and the enduring love of God. Let us join together and pray to Mother Mary by Hail Mary Prayer. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thanks for watching the video. Hopes that this video touched your heart and enlightened your love towards our mother. Please don't forget to share this video with your friends and click on like and subscribe button. Thanks and goodbye. We will come back with another beautiful video on Mother Mary soon.